Well, a new Harvard study shows that President Trump could be right on the money when he says the mainstream media doesn't give him a fair shot. According to the Ivy League University, take a look at this, 80% of the coverage of the president's first 100 days was negative. So does this prove there's a built-in bias against this administration? Here for a debate, Democratic strategist Jimmy LeBay and Fox News contributor and radio talk show host David Webb. Good morning to you both. Thank you for being here. David, I'm going to start morning, with you. Pete. I'm gonna put How up, you doing? I'm doing well. Good morning. Uh, we're going to put up another full screen of this study from Harvard uh, about the percentages from different networks. And if you take a look at it, CNN, 93% negative, NBC, 93, CBS, 91, the failing New York Times, 87, the Washington Post, 83, Fox News Channel at the bottom, 50-50 straight up. But otherwise, you've got 90% negative stories coming out from these so-called mainstream media outlets. How can this not be seen as overwhelming bias? Pete, it can't be said any other way. And, you know, let's contrast this. From the school that brought back segregation, Harvard, where black students and a blacks only graduation, and as a point of personal, uh, call it insult, their grandparents must be rolling over in their graves. Here comes a scintilla of truth about the media. Let's analyze this from a business standpoint. For them, it's about ratings from their far left base, but it's also about a failing network. The media bias that they exhibit gives Bill Clinton, who was impeached, 60%, and President Trump, over 90% for most of them. Take a look at it from that point of view. Yeah. Obama, 41%, that's still up for debate. The fact is they're also just trying to appeal to that base, but they're failing as a business. And look at the success of Fox shows. Our shows across the spectrum are rated in the top tier, if not number one in their time, sure. time slots for years. That's a significant difference. Jamila, uh, what's your take on, on, you know, this is a, a study just covering the media and whether they're negative or positive. Doesn't that, doesn't that send a message of, of how biased it really is? I don't think it actually does. Um, I have to admit that while Harvard is the top of the game in the world in terms of media analysis, um, this study simply points out that this is a president who came out swinging against the media. It, it, it's as if he said, I'm going to kick over a hornet's nest. Why are these journalists now uh, looking to do stories that are negative? Donald Trump has made it very clear that he does not like the media, is not interested in the media. That changed during the actual campaign from the time where he actually was given the most favorable coverage of all the GOP candidates for president. And then when it came time to recognize this is the legitimate candidate, this is the one who is likely to ascend to the, well, not ascend, but, you know, be sure. elected president. Um, then, as all media should be doing, they started critiquing the actual policy points. They started well, that, critiquing that, the issues of what he was to saying. To that point, Jamila, aren't journalists, independent journalists, supposed to be above that fray? Sure, you can make criticisms of it, but we're going to cover what you're actually doing. David referred to the difference of coverage between Trump and Obama, the, the presidents. Take a look at this in the first 100 days. Negative 80 percent of the coverage overall negative for President Trump, as we said before. But look at Barack Obama, 41 percent negative, 59 percent positive. I mean, it, they were they were basically saying, let's give this guy a chance, whereas with President Trump, they're saying, let's not give him any chance at all. I disagree. Trump came out swinging. He had the Muslim ban thing that got shot down. You had Americans of all stripes, lawyers with sandwich boards at airports saying, but, I'm a lawyer. I can help. You know, Trump you know, came Pete, out Pete, before doing... this gets off the rails, can we get it, back to the study that was done here? Okay, Jamila Nothing's points going off to the, the independent here. choice they make. This mm -hmm. study was done based on the type of coverage. Now, fair coverage addresses both the negative and positive, and I've been at this game for almost 30 years. I can choose what I do as a journalist, as an opinion person. The media has the same responsibility. The fact that they choose negative coverage is an implicit bias. It's like choosing to cover one baseball team's losses versus another one wins sure. and losses. No, this is the way they approach no. it. Jamila, so, I, Jam Jamila I, I've been at this too long and mm -hmm. I've observed it in print and all mediums where I work and I have seen a more remarkable difference in the type of coverage. And again, this is based on an, on an organization that judges the type of coverage by the numbers, not by how people feel. Sure. Well, we're going to have to leave it right there. This debate will continue for sure. David Webb and Jamila Bay, thank you very, both for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you for Thanks, having us. Fair and balanced as Fox News Channel is at 52 and 48.